Hi, I'm Campbell and welcome to Wind Up Reviews. Today we're looking at Tesco finest, but on the, on the red side. First thing we're going to taste is, is this wine. Give a little close up of that. It's an Alianico, um, which is spelt Aglianico, I think pronounced Alianico. Apologies to our Italian friends if I've uh, screwed that up. Um, Italy can be a challenging place for a lot of people. One of the things that people ask me about a lot um, is, you know, how how do you pick a good wine from Italy? Because it's uh, it's a bit of a it's a bit of a minefield, um, and it's and it's tough. Um, it's it's a very very big country, lots of different regions. It's difficult to know from the bottle is Alianico the grape or the region. On this occasion, it's the grape. The region is Campania in uh, southern Italy, and. It's probably a wine that most of you aren't that familiar with. So in Tesco's range, finest, this is a this is a nine pound uh, bottle. So it's towards the top end of our kind of single single digit pounds sweet spot. Let's give it a little taste. It's quite big in the nose. It's arguably um, a little bit lighter than the nose might lead one to expect. It's not uncommon of Italian wines. They aren't very big, punchy wines uh, compared to, you know, New World. Um, it's opening up a lot. You know, I coravaned this out of, the, out of the wine fridge a while ago. Um, you need to decant this wine, you need to serve this wine with food. Um, it's quite a tough wine to rate. Um, the fruit is coming forward more and more. Um, I would give this a wes of five, possibly nudging a six. Um, at nine pounds, my expectations start to get a little bit higher. Um, it's very difficult to find a really good Italian red wine for nine pounds. Um, and this is getting there. Um, if you've never tried an Alianico before, um, I could recommend it. You get a lot of that kind of black fruit, uh, quite peppery. It's almost like a kind of poor man's um, Syrah, a uh, bit, bit lighter in the body, but it, it really does need to be decanted, give it a bit of air. It's quite tannic, uh, so it definitely needs food. This isn't a wine to drink solo. Um, in that kind of Wes terms, don't regret buying it, don't regret drinking it. I'm probably not going to hunt it down, but if you're in the mood for something Italian and a little bit different and try a grape you've never tried before, it's, it's pretty decent quality for the £9 price. Thanks for listening.